Time now for sports with Tom Wiley. Welcome back. We told you yesterday Josh Eustis is in town to host his annual youth skills camp, but tonight he'll take a break from coaching to speak at a fundraiser for the Center for Mental Health. It's a cause near and dear to his heart. From the outside looking in, you might think that Josh Eustis has a perfect life. He was a state champion in high school, star at Stanford, and now he's living his dream as the only player from Montana in the NBA. Driving and kicking Eustis for three, got it! But like many of us, there are times when Josh feels less than perfect, when the pressures of life get to him, when depression creeps in and self-esteem plummets. And for a long time, Josh would push away those feelings, but his attitude has changed, and now Josh wants to help start the conversation about ending the stigma of mental health. You know, um, it's something that I've, you know, mental health is something I've struggled with my entire life. And I know that there's a lot of other people out there, more than we know, that are struggling with it too. And I think it's something that's stigmatized and a lot of people bottle it up inside and don't talk about it. And, you know, I just want to, with the position I'm in, I want to be able to talk about it and show people that it's okay. You know, it's okay to talk about it and it's okay to not be okay. And, you know, take that stigma away from it. And I think by doing this and bringing attention and awareness to it, um, we can help a lot of people. These days, more and more NBA players are speaking out about their struggles with mental health. Recently, All-Stars Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan have detailed their history with depression and anxiety, which helps end the stigma among athletes. It is um, for the longest time, you know, uh, being an NBA player, you didn't want to have any chinks in your armor. You wanted to be um, strong at all times, but it's becoming more of the norm to be able to talk about your issues because at the end of the day, that you're not alone. Um, a lot of people have them, and there's nothing wrong with it either. In Montana, the phrase is cowboy up, but Houston knows firsthand that that's an unhealthy way of thinking. Absolutely. I think that causes more problems than, uh, than we could even count. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with feeling emotion or talking about any problems that you have or, you know, feeling any emotion at all. Um, you know, the cowboy up thing is uh, a, a distinctively Montana thing, but... Is, you know, there's nothing wrong. You're still a man. You're still tough if you, even if you express your emotions. After all, though NBA players are high profile, they're not robots. They're humans, and it's okay to be human. It's okay not to be okay. 